Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode seven of Turn This Way Mindset Podcast with me, your host, Jennifer Radke. I don't know about all of you, but the month of September flew by here. I always feel like September to December just feels busier than the other months. For us parents, maybe it's the return to scheduled activities after a summer break, or maybe it's the lead up to the holiday season, but I find myself often feeling overwhelmed and overextended, and I know I'm not alone in feeling this way. So that's going to be the topic for our podcast today is breaking the busy cycle. Life is busy, and for professionals and entrepreneurs who are also juggling being present in their home life and trying to find time for self-improvement, it can feel even more so. This is when we often find ourselves saying that we're too busy, that we don't have enough time, that we can't fit anything else in. We start creating a scarcity mindset that allows us to play the victim role. We've all been there, feeling like there just aren't enough hours in the day, constantly juggling priorities and barely keeping up. You're busy, but not necessarily productive. You're moving, but not progressing. It's easy to fall into this trap. But often, this sense of time scarcity has less to do with reality and more to do with mindset. So what exactly is scarcity mindset? It's the belief that there isn't enough of something, whether that's money, resources, or in this case, time. When you're trapped in this mindset, you believe you're always running out of time. And as a result, you operate from a place of urgency and overwhelm. It's as if time is slipping through your fingers and no matter how hard you try, there's never enough to go around. It's a negative mindset and one that can lead to you feeling helpless. The sense of time scarcity can show up in a few different ways. It can show up as always feeling too busy for opportunities, personal development, self-care, relationships with others. It can show up as constant multitasking, but never feeling like you're getting ahead. And it can show up as a nagging sense that you're behind, even when you've accomplished quite a bit. Does that sound familiar? I know I felt this way. It's an easy mindset to fall into, and it's especially a challenge among high performers. The thing is, it's not the external demands that are keeping you stuck. It's your internal narrative about time. The words you tell yourself matter immensely in how you perceive your reality. When you view time as scarce, you make decisions from a place of fear. Fear that if you stop, everything will fall apart. Fear that if you don't do everything right now, you'll miss out. And this is what leads to a never ending cycle of busyness that feels productive, but is often just a distraction. So here's how the busy cycle works. First, there's a fear of wasting time. You overschedule yourself because you believe any idle moment is wasted, but in doing so, you overextend yourself, leaving no room for true focus, which leads to constant multitasking. You try to do it all at once, answering emails while preparing for meetings, trying to play with your kids while you're making dinner or bouncing from task to task. This not only drains your energy, but also reduces the quality of your work. Next, focusing on the urgent and not the important. You get stuck putting out fires and handling minor tasks because they feel pressing. As a result, you end up neglecting long-term high impact goals. And then all of those lead to, of course, burnout. Eventually the cycle catches up with you. Constant busyness leads to burnout, which only reinforces the idea that you don't have enough time and that whole cycle starts again. Ugly, right? And so many of us are battling this cycle every day. So how do you break it? If you listen to my very first podcast where I shared my favorite truth about mindset, you'll know the answer. Mindset is adaptable. With intention and dedication, you can change your mindset. Before I tell you how you can shift your mindset, I want to share how you can gain a clear perspective of how you are currently using your time. It requires practicing mindfulness and the end result can be eye-opening. 
So without judgment and with complete honesty, I suggest that you take inventory of how you are spending your time. For one week, track how you choose to spend your time. Take note of what you are prioritizing and what are you are pushing aside. Also take note of the feelings you associate with these actions. Once you understand how you are currently using your time, you can start the shift from a scarcity to abundance mindset. So let's talk about how to start reclaiming control over how you perceive time. I'm going to share six steps you can start taking today. Number one, the most important step you can take is shifting your language around time. Notice how often you say, I don't have time or I'm too busy. These statements reinforce the scarcity mindset. Instead, try saying, I'm choosing how to spend my time. This small shift in language reminds you that time is something you manage, not something that manages you. You always have a choice in how you spend your time, even if it doesn't always feel that way. This step alone completely shifted the way I thought and felt about time. It created ownership for the choices I was making and helped me prioritize parts of my life, which leads to step two. You need to prioritize what's important, not just what's urgent. Ask yourself, is this task moving me toward my larger goals? If not, it might not need to be done right away or even at all. This helps break the cycle of reacting to everything with equal urgency. Okay, so that's step one and step two. On to step three. Be present. I'm not sure when multitasking became an admirable trait, but it actually adds to a time scarcity mindset. Instead, you should make time to focus on deep work. Multitasking scatters your attention. Instead, try to carve out blocks of time for deep focused work. This creates a sense of accomplishment, which reduces the feeling of scarcity. This step is one of the most challenging for me as it can be challenging to remove the to-do list from my mind to allow yourself to sink into being present in the current work you're trying to do. If you can achieve this, it can be extremely rewarding. Okay, next step also requires setting things aside. Delegate and let go. Many of us often believe we have to do everything ourselves, especially for the entrepreneurs who are listening. You know what I'm talking about. You feel like you have to do everything yourself. But delegation is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of leadership. Trust others to handle tasks that don't require your direct involvement. Through delegating tasks, you will free up time, which will help you accomplish the next step, which is building in your downtime. An abundance mindset recognizes that rest is productive. Schedule breaks and downtime to recharge. Time scarcity thrives when you don't give yourself permission to pause. And then carefully watch the language you use when resting. Try to steer away from thoughts that start with, I should be doing this, or I'm wasting valuable time. Rest and self-care are valuable. Last step. Practice gratitude for the time you have. Instead of focusing on what you can't do or haven't done, celebrate what you have accomplished. This shift in focus from lack to abundance can dramatically alter your relationship with time. If you can take the time to practice these steps, the shift in mindset will happen. Okay, here are some final thoughts to leave you with today. Time scarcity is a mindset not a fact. It's easy to feel like you need to do everything at once, but when you shift to an abundance mindset, one that recognizes you do have enough time, you'll start making decisions that free you from the cycle of busyness and allow you to focus on what truly matters. You have the power to create more time, not by cramming more into your schedule or by staying up later or waking up earlier, but by changing the way you approach your day. Let go of the scarcity mindset and step into abundance. When you do, you'll find that time becomes your ally, not your enemy. Remember, time is not something you run out of. It's something you create. My question that I'll leave you with today is this. 
what are you missing out on by believing that you are too busy? As a certified life coach, I work with professionals and entrepreneurs just like you to help break free from the scarcity mindset and reclaim control over their time and energy. If you're ready to start making the shift, reach out and we'll talk. Have a great week. Bye.